Well, would you look who it is? I bet you think you're the best out there, huh? One of the thousands who probably do. But let me tell you a little bit about one of the ones who has been confirmed to be the best. Or, well, at least one of them. About a man who's done the impossible on numerous occasions. A man of courage and no small amount of charisma. Hell, even those transhuman freaks over at Oberon know to show this man respect. And a healthy dose of fear, too. The things he's accomplished out there in the outer reaches of the colonies have made him a legend. A war hero. The man's name is Bix. And today you get to see his ship in action. Aren't you lucky? Enter the Morning Star. Hello there, Captains, and welcome back to another game of Dreadnought, where, as the little intro there suggests, I'm in the Morning Star. And it's commanded by me, Connor, not Bex, unfortunately, the crusty old Dodger. But here we are. The Morning Star is, of course, a Tier 4 hero ship from the Akula Vector line. And let's have some fun. So, just to begin, yes, I would like to let you all know that I currently, or just recently really, have reset up my Patreon and have modified it or put a bit more work into it. It's not completely finished. There will be a couple more ranks added depending on how popular, popular it is. But honestly, it would help a great deal. What I want to be able to get done with Dreadnought is get a bit more lore or a bit more history behind the game, a bit more of a universe there. Uh, for example, the Morning Star has a captain. Its name is Bix. Now, other ships or hero ships mainly have captains as well. And they have their own little bit of blurb or a little bit of text behind who they are and what they've done. I would like to probably hire an artist to do art for the channel for a video so I can be a bit more in-depth with them. Do something different, make it a bit more fun and entertaining. For that, I need money. So Patreon is in place for that. And if you don't want to go through the monthly route where you can, you know, donate $2 a month, you can just go straight for the... PayPal link which is also there for a one time donation of a lump sum or whatever you don't need to do it but it is there if you want to help out if the more money I get the more I can do with the game but anyway we're straight into the action here devil baby on my left a number of other enemies on my right and I'm in the morning star with my scattergun broadside my tractor beam my flechettes and my warp jump now what I did there was very stupid as you can probably guess seeing how all hands have been lost and the ship itself also has been lost. Oh, top the mic there, I apologise. But I'm going to get into it. Now, I'm not a great fan of the close quarters capital ships, or, well, they're all capital ships, but you know what I mean. The Dreadnoughts, I'm not a great fan of them. Not because there's anything wrong with them, just because I haven't put enough time or work into them. But you know what? I was thinking of the Morning Star and how cool of a ship it looks. I mean, with the figurehead of Lucifer on the front. By the way, if you didn't know, Morningstar is just another name for Lucifer, the devil, Satan. I'm not going to get into the biblical verse. It was something to do with on in morning, he shot down to the earth like a star. Some bullshit like that. All made up. Hardly matters. But there's Tenzin. Now, we all know Tenzin. Tenzin is dangerous. Tenzin is very dangerous. Gamerkin, name to it. Not too sure of. But Tenzin, oh, there's a reason his name's in all capitals. But here we are, we're hunkered down behind this uh, shifter, this big lifter thing that's holding an asteroid in place. And we're trying to get into a better position for which to attack with our scatter guns. Now what I'm doing here is getting myself between cover and the enemy, so they'll have to come closer to get to me. That's what I thought at least. But everything works out. Doesn't usually work out, but everything works out. Oh, and we've got an enemy corvette trying to pull a little flanking maneuver on our tacticals, of which we have three actually. That's a bit odd. Hmm, I believe one of them is the Harwick, but the other two are doing their job. They're healing away there, and we have been losing quite a bit of progress and score here so far. I'm really pretty much early in. We're in the first couple of minutes of the game. Okay, there we go. We got a tractor beam on the enemy Gola. Scatter gun away, power to weapons, hitting loose with our flat guns as well, just letting everything out, just letting all the anger and angst. And he's down, now for Devil Baby, hitting him with our main battery there. What is it, it's like a plasma 
cannon or something, isn't it? It's not that often we're playing the Kula Vector ships in general. Especially when it comes to the Dreadnoughts. Von Kurovax is behind us. So we're going to do a little jump, close the distance here. And then we can let loose again with our Scattergun broadside. Come on, flechettes away. Power the weapons. Get that ship turned. Come on, there we go. Gonna redeal with the Von Kurovax, at least. I think it is me. No, I think it's just one way. He's focused on another target at the moment. So we can just hit him with our flex, hit him with our scatter guns. Scatter guns have a very short cooldown, as you can see. Enemy is down. Right, there we go. Awesome. Okay, there's very few enemies close to us, so we're going to have to wait and bide our time here. Oh! My mistake, we have an enemy tactical. The shots off. Come on, Scattergun. Devil Baby's cutting it a little bit close there. Probably just wants to do the mating ritual dance, but I'm not in for that shit, bitch. <laughs> I just want your hulking space corpse. Right where it is. There we go. So yes, I'm taking suggestions for the channel, seeing how I'm trying to get a bit more serious in with the channel, trying to improve it. I'm not the most technically minded when it comes to the editing software, but I am trying to improve, as you probably noticed. Those of you who keep up to date with the channel, you've probably noticed that over the past couple of weeks I've been trying to improve things in minor areas here and there, but overall I'm trying to get better. Right, here we go. Now we're not losing so badly now, we're actually picking up the pace a bit. We're starting to slowly but surely match them. Another enemy tactical, two enemy tacticals on screen. Let's see, Devil Baby again. Keep forgetting to take the power off engines, but there we go. Right now, we've got the tractor beam. Now, what Devil's going to do here is what you really should be doing when you're uh, being tractored. Cut the connection. You see how he went behind cover and it cut out the connection? Do that. Now, if you're in a smaller ship like a Corvette or even a, a fast destroyer or anything that's really fast, you can pretty much outrun it. It'll still be connected and pulling you in, but you're too fast. You're faster... In the movement forward than it is in the pull basically. Tenzin's back. There we go. And now our team's starting to gather up here. Which is good. Missiles on us. No energy to put on the shields, but we've got a couple of tacticals with us. We're fine, at least for the moment. There's Darth Sphinx. How did he end up there? Why is he there? Oh, that's where the enemy are spawning, I think. Or is it? I'm not sure. We've got enemies all over the place. Okay, let's see. Is Devil still up there? Oh, we have a couple of enemies moving to our... Was that north? I can't tell. There's no marker on the mini map. It could be anything on the radar there. Right, let's... Oh, enemy Corvette. Luckily, we've got the tractor beam. We can pull them in close. There we go. We tried to make an escape with the blink. Didn't work. And he's down. So the Morningstar was actually one of the first hero ships, I believe. It was one of the first in a group of ships that were released initially upon the I think it was was it the beta release or the game just coming out of uh, all test versions I'm not sure but I remember it being one of the first in a package that I purchased and I enjoy it I don't play it enough but I do enjoy it Darth Sphinx again okay we're hitting him he needs to get behind cover fast yeah he is he's doing that he's, he's increasing his altitude trying to get behind that asteroid and we have Dreadnoughts on our right. Yeah. What are we going to do with him? That is a Jutland, I believe. Right, let's pull back here. Let's pull back to our ally and see if we can get a better view of what's going on around us. Okay, so the, the majority of the enemy are in front of us. We have two tacticals, one artillery cruiser, and two dreadnoughts. One of which is a Kuda Vector. Speaking about the Dreadnoughts, of course, and the other one being uh, Jupiter Arms. There's Devil BB again in his Corvette. We can take him down pretty damn easily, though. Tractor Beam coming in really useful again there. I feel like I'm in uh, Star Wars. I'm the Star Destroyer pulling in a Corellian Corvette. Only this time we're not capturing. We're destroying. Okay, now for Tenzin. Was oh, that the Zillant? Or no, it's a tier face. So that's just the figurehead from the Zillant hero ship. Pretty cool. It's a really nice uh, figurehead. Okay, all team members, trying to get them to fire at one target here. We'll be able to take Tenzin down quite quickly, but for some reason, 
it was just myself and one ally, even though there were a couple of us there. Oh no, hold on. Yeah, it was only two tacticals that are seemingly stuck on my ass. So I am getting quite a bit of support here. Oh, Von Kurovax is back. Oh no, he never moved. Oh yeah, he was in the Dreadnought from the front there. I thought it was the Athos uh, Destroyer line. No, it's the Jutland. And he's got a pocket healer. Or in fact, yeah, pocket healer. And he's also got a destroyer to his left. Why can't I see that destroyer? Is it above him or below him? That would be useful to know. But anyway, let's see if we can't lure out one of the tacticals. Because they are a target. As long as that tactical's up, we're not doing much of anything to that Jutland there. Oh, there we go. Okay, it's the Dola or Gola. It's Dola, isn't it? Gola. I can't remember. The Akulavactor Destroyer. Oh shit, what's going on? Where, is it, where are they coming from? Okay, it's coming from the Jutland. Oh, he has two healers. Devil Boobies back. Right, so let's see. Now our goal here is to get around behind and surprise, baby. Time for you to go down. Goddamn warp's amazing. Scattergun broadside. Off cooldown. Time to go down, Devil. Time to go back to hell. That's time for your death. What's his name? Ilias? Ilias? However you pronounce it, yes, you are going to die. Multiple enemy contacts. We've got to get that tactical down. Luckily, the Jutland isn't paying attention to us, so we can tractor in this tactical and lay him down to rest. Scattergun broadside doing its job again. Now, of course, it's, it's not as useful against larger targets, but because it's a tactical... It's very useful, haha, <laughs> very useful indeed. Never going against old Yolanda there. Let's close the distance a little bit. Blink warp done, oh yes, there we go. Successfully made the jump to our ally, which will allow us to get behind cover and heal up, oh. Well, that plan isn't going to work with tens in there. Let's try and get under these structures here, under this ring. Nope, he's going to continue closing the distance, and there's a number of enemies closing in on his location too to reinforce his position. He's got support from the tactical, as well as another dreadnought. A couple of enemies behind us. Where is our allied team? But on the upside, we're actually winning. We've grabbed victory from the jaws of defeat, and that is satisfying. Very satisfying, especially against the heavy hitters, the heavy hitters we have on the enemy side. Not only do we have Devil Baby, but we also have Tenzin. And Tenzin is nasty. Right, okay, let's close the distance here. We need to get into a reasonable spot very quickly, which is hard when you're in a, a Dreadnought. I mean, the uh, Cooler Vector line of Dreadnoughts aren't the slowest. That would be the Jupiter Arms line. The Akula Vector are kind of the middle ground, but there you go. Victory. I can't believe we actually won that. But this was a lot of fun. I wasn't expecting to get the kills I got. But the Blink Warp in combination with the Tractor Beam, in combination with the Scattergun Broadside, are amazing. I mean, the Flechettes, by the time you actually get somewhere with the Flechettes, it's too late. But yes, guys, thank you very much for watching. Do not forget to check out the Patreon. You can see on screen the plans that are available now. Except plans, tiers, sorry that are available now. I hope they're reasonable, because I do need as many of you to do it as possible. Of course, it's your choice, but regardless, thank you very, very much for watching, and I, of course, as always, will see you next time. Bonjourno.